Hey you, yeah, yeah, you. If you are looking for a fresh, funky card trick to really end a show with, this is it. Chris, my friend, look, let's do this. I'm gonna go through the cards like this. And I'd like you to just, uh, actually here, just reach in, touch any card, I don't care. It doesn't matter which one, which one, that one right there. You're sure that's the one? Yeah. I don't want you, that's the one. Yeah. I'm not even gonna remove it from the spot. I'm gonna give you a little peek at it. Keep the card in mind, okay. So you got a playing card in mind, right? Yeah. Concentrate on the card. I'm gonna give the cards a couple of cuts here. And I'm gonna try to do something really unusual with the cards. I'm gonna actually set them up in a certain position here, like this, and One card stabbed the one card they had in mind. Ow, that hurts actually. Get a playing card, okay? And what I've done, uh, face cards work well because they don't reveal the fact that you've owned. And I took a straight blade, a packing knife, exacto knife, and I put some marker on here so you can see the slashes I've made in it, the slashes, okay? So that's the situation, which means that it's all ready for my finger to enter it, okay? Not so easy to, ow, it's one of those grippy, going the wrong way in the wrong hole thing. We've all done that. It's a bit too grippy. There we go, <laughs> like this. Okay, so that's there, that's my prep card. So you can have the deck shuffled, use the whole deck, and when you want to do this trick to close with, you just have to get this on with a palm or whatever the case, get this on top of the deck. So there we are, my friends, okay? Now, the force. Force is this. We're gonna come down here. What the hell, we'll come down here. Uh, obviously, people uh, with the cuts in it, it's not as um, easy to see as with the markers here, but I've got that there. And it looks like I'm gonna go through, I thumb off a few cards, I thumb them off, I spread, and I say touch any card. Now. I'm gonna warn you right now, guys. This can look suspicious. If you say to someone, do me a favor, touch some cards. It's like, what the hell was that? Beginning look very suspicious. However, if you've got a bit of acting, which is the key to good magic, if what you're doing is, well, the way I perform this is to say, hey, I want you to do me a favor here. I want you to, and I'm thinking in my head, say stop any time. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't say it. So I'm sort of going, I'm gonna go through the cards and what I want, and it's as if I get frustrated by the, the slowness of the pace and I just kind of go, I actually touch any card. So in performance, I'm, this, is, this is, in performance is like this. Would you help me out here? I'm gonna go through the cards and actually just, just touch any card. So it looks like you changed your mind, okay? And that's what makes this not look suspicious. Now, what am I actually doing? I'm thumbing off a few cards, including the force card, which is the first card off, ends up on the bottom of the first few cards, right? Boom, boom, boom. Then I'm spreading the rest of the cards directly on top of the packet, spreading them out. And I say, touch one, anyone. And what's cool about this is people can touch a card and then I say, you're sure, you wouldn't rather this card here. Or how about the one below it, this card here? And they go, no, no, I want that card. You break the pack at exactly that point. And remember, this is my packet here with all the cards spread. Just by tapping these, all these cards above, all these cards end up above the packet. And the card you show is the original top card. It is a fooler. It is a beautiful force. Okay. I bring the cards back and I keep a pinky break. My left pinky between the two packets, okay? Then with my thumb at the back, I actually let one card from the top packet, the force card, I let it with my thumb, I pull it the back, I let it click, uh, sort of, I get a break, I readjust the break, so now I've got the pinky break above the force card, and I either single cut or double cut everything to the top. So I'm back where I started, and again, they don't see that part, I'm back exactly where I started. I take the deck, and what I need to do is palm this card. You can either do one hand top palm, which is a very hard but beautiful move. Uh, this is exactly, once again, InsideDeception.com, guys. That's where this advanced stuff is. But you can use a two-hand palm where the left hand essentially pushes the top card off into the right-hand palm. And the, you're gonna basically get it there. And palming cards is a whole other subject. But then I take the deck here, I, and I pull it in the two fingers and thumb, and I push down. You want all this to happen, push it down, and now everything's buckled. I'm gonna let these suckers, and I left my, let my right hand fall to the side. I let these start spinning off, boom, boom, boom. And as they do, my right finger, I'm gonna kind of, this is the exposed view. The fingers adjust, I curl it in, and I push with the fingers, and I push it down and through the, uh, in, through the card. That's all I'm doing. We'll take some practice on that, and this is definitely a more advanced trick. But the, the impact, the visuals of this, Springing these off, getting the card ready, and then boom! 
Let them see the back of the card first. Let the tension build, the good drama. And then when you bring this up, get ready for people to be so astounded that they vomit on you. To learn the sensational and sweet, sweet secrets of another cool card trick, just click right here on the skewered card right about now.